everyone, my name is Jessica and welcome to my first YouTube video. Today I'm going to declutter my accessories using the Comrie method. First of all, I keep my jewelry in four different places around my room. I keep my necklaces on the side of my wall and my statement necklaces inside of my closet. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do two piles, one keep and one discard. These are the items that I am keeping and these are the items that I'm donating or discarding. So I gave away eight items in this first step of decluttering. Next up are my earrings. I keep my earrings on the side of my wardrobe in this jewelry organizer that I got from Claire's about 10 years ago. I love it because it perfectly stores my earrings. So let's start at the top to declutter. These silver earrings I'm gonna keep, as well as these gold earrings. I wear them all the time for work. These ones, they're my maybe pile, but I'm gonna give them away. I haven't, I've never worn them, worn them in my life. So I'm just gonna donate these. For these silver earrings, I'm keeping, I'm definitely keeping, I love them. These JLo hoop earrings, um, I'm giving them away. They're a little bit heavy for me, so it's time to donate them. And don't worry guys, I still have some hoop earrings. <laughs> I'm keeping these, I got them at Claire. They're lightweight and they're perfect for summer. I just love them. They replace my big hoop giant earrings. Okay, so let's move on to the lower portion of my jewelry organizer. I'm gonna be giving away these feather earrings. They're a little bit young for me, so I think I'm gonna donate them and I think it's time to give them up. I am going to keep these long earrings as well as these gold earrings. I love them when I go out. And I'm going to keep these silver hoop earrings as well as these teardrop pink earrings that I have. And I'm going to keep these. These are stud earrings. I'm gonna keep those. And I also have a DIY project that I'm gonna do with these. So I'm gonna keep those. So this is how my organizer looks. I might have only taken away four earrings out of this, but it looks less cluttered and I like it. So these are the earrings I'm giving away. I'm giving these hoop earrings, the JLo ones, those earrings, my feather earrings, and these earrings. Next up and my last items are my bracelets. This is by far the hardest thing I had to do because I am in love with my bracelets. So let's take a look at where I store my bracelets. Okay, so this is where I store my bracelets. I got this jewelry organizer at Bed Bath & Beyond. It's three-tiered, which holds all of my bracelets perfectly. And in the bottom, I store my cuff bracelets. And in this little bowl that I got from Ross, it stores my stud earrings. So now I'm going to lay them all out and start decluttering. I had this cuff bracelet for a year and I've never worn it. So I think it's time to retire it and donate it. This cuff bracelet brings me joy. I wear it every day, I love it. These two for sure keeping. This bracelet I'm keeping, I use it all the time. I have another gold one that I lost. I don't know where it is, but if I find it, I'm gonna keep that one too. So this silver one and it's gold one, I'm keeping. So this bracelet I bought at Forever 21 for the American Music Awards. I was a seed filler back in 2011 and it's 2018. So now the elastic has worn off and it has become too big for my wrist. These two I am keeping. They are my good luck charms. I'll post the Instagram seller's name in the description box below. So if you girls like them, you can buy them. They are good luck charms. This is the evil eye and this is 
an elephant for good luck. So this bracelet, I got at Express. I am also going to keep this one. Here's another toy boys bracelet that I love. I'm keeping this one because I use it when I use the other cuff bracelet that has the turquoise stones. Okay, so I have this cuff bracelet which has three fake turquoise stones. I love it. It has a little bit of a western feel and I love pairing it with my cowboy boots. So I am definitely keeping this and pairing it with my other bracelet that had two turquoise stones. So this one. I, have, I bought this cuff bracelet back in around 2008 when I started working in retail. It used to be silver. I wore this so much, I loved it, but you know, it's time to let it go. Now, onto the hard part, my bracelets that I adore and love. This little cute bird bracelet, the string used to be an off-white color and now it has turned yellow, so I'm going to donate it. This bracelet I got for Cancer Awareness Month at Payless a long time ago. The string doesn't work that much anymore it falls off my wrist so i'm going to throw it away i am definitely not donating this one which i use a lot i always use my arrow bracelet this bracelet so i'm keeping those three i'm also keeping this arm cuff i got a charlotte ruse this bangle here i am keeping this ring which is also an arrow I don't usually use rings, but I'm keeping that ring. I'm keeping this watch, this ring. It's beautiful, but it's already rusted. I am not keeping this one. I am definitely going to keep this one. I love it, so we'll put it in the keep pile. These two bracelets, I'm in love, so I'm going to keep them. And this ring, it's so beautiful, but it's already rusted, and I have never worn it before, so why keep it? These two bracelets, I am getting rid of. The elastic already wore off, but I've never worn them, so why keep them? To the discard pile. Okay, I wasted $50 for all of these bracelets, and I'm never ever gonna wear them. Ever. I've never worn them. It's been what? Almost a year since I bought them, and I haven't worn them. So I am keeping this pink one. I'm keeping this one. So let's put them in the cake pile. I am gonna keep, uh, I don't know, okay, I'm gonna put them in the baby pile. I'm gonna keep this one. I'm definitely gonna keep the, yeah, I'm gonna keep this. This one, I'm gonna keep this one. Uh, okay. This one, I'm not sure about. I'm gonna keep it in the baby pile. And this one, I'm gonna keep, I love it. So we're gonna keep that one. Okay, so now on to my stud earrings. I am going to keep these rhinestone earrings. They're my favorite and they're my go-to earrings when I have to do interviews or be in front of the camera. They shine, they add a little pizzazz, but they also look very professional and I love them. So I'm gonna keep those. These stud earrings, I got a Forever 21. They already turned green on the back. So every time they touch my ears, they turn my earlobes green, just like where it touches them. So I'm gonna keep, give them away. I already have some other stud, stud earrings that I use all the time that I'm wearing right now. So I'm gonna throw those away, these. These beautiful pearl earrings, I got them at a set, at a pearl set. They're fake, of course, in Forever 21, and I'm keeping those. I'm also keeping these flower pearl earrings. They came with the set, so let's keep those. And then I have these two earrings. They used to be a gunmetal color, but now they're just brass and they lost their color, so I'm just gonna give those away. Okay, so this is what I'm keeping. I'm keeping a lot of stuff, but this is what I love. And this is actually my maybe pile of these two bracelets that I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep or not. And this is the pile I'm giving away. I have, I'm giving away one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 11 items. And that is all I'm giving away for my bracelets. So this is my before. 
this is the after. It looks less cluttered and much more organized. I love it because I get to keep only the bracelets that I truly love and use. So that was it you guys. I gave away 23 items in my jewelry collection. I hope this video inspired you guys to maybe declutter your own accessories. And if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.